see the hold the follow through as well and his feet are set. That's our, those are kind of the big things we look for with, with his shots on film. Well, assistant coach Scott Morrison, you spent a lot of time around Brad Wanamaker. You've seen him play at a high level this season. Why has he been so important to this team this season? Coming off the bench, being you know a scorer off the bench, providing some threat to get to the rim and create shots for others. And then when playing with the starters, just being a guy who can be a solid defender, uh, find people you know, open in the corners, be a good pick and roll player, make good decisions in the paint with the ball. You talked about scoring. That's the first thing we're going to talk about here. Catch and shoot three-pointers. He actually leads the NBA in catch and shoot three-point percentage. It's something that stands out to me on this play and actually every play that he takes with a catch and shoot three-pointer is the amount of time from catch to release. What's typically a good and a fast amount of time for a catch and shoot? For him, I think it's about 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 seconds. And uh, right across the league, anytime you get below your comfort zone, your percentage drops. So again, it comes back to the decision making of not taking bad shots or rush shots. And uh, if he doesn't have that time, put it on the floor, get fouled, or find somebody else in the corner. 0 0.8, 0 0.9. This one's 0 0.6 that he makes it on this one. So pretty fast catch and release for him on this three-pointer. Yeah, you can see when he catches it, he doesn't even bring the ball down at all. Uh, so to your point, that allows him a little bit more of a cushion uh, in terms of that closeout. See the hold the follow through as well, and his feet are set. That's our, those are kind of the big things we look for with, with his shots on film. Well, another area that he leads the league in shooting is from the free throw line. He's not afraid to go to the basket and draw fouls, as we see on this play against the three-time defensive player of the year. Um, what does he do so well to be able to create contact and then have success when he does get to the line? Well, I think it goes back for him to his college career. Where he, when he played at Pitt, he was kind of a forward, uh, whereas now he's playing point guard. So it makes him almost like a power point guard. Um, gives him the confidence to get in there. He can take contact. He has a good um, you know, core strength about him, so when he takes a hit, he can still get his shot off. And that allows him to, if he doesn't get the call, to make the shot. In this case, it's an obvious foul where he's not going to make the shot anyway. But uh, like you said, no fear to go in against a big guy, draw contact. And he's just good at not flailing around and making it look um, awkward, whereas it looks like it's a natural motion for him and takes the hit. And referees are giving him the benefit of the doubt a lot of times. All right, Scott Morrison, you spent a lot of time with him. You broke down his game with us. We appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you having me. Thank you.